Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Jimmy Lee, and you're watching Raw Fishing Channel. So I got back from the Greater Philadelphia Outdoor Show, and uh, at that expo, which is in Oaks, PA, there's a, there were a lot of vendors. It was pretty fun, pretty awesome. I ran to a lot of people. Uh, if you guys ran to me, you know, it was great meeting you guys. But there was one vendor where I stopped by. They were like, "Hey, you guys have GoPros on? You guys doing videos for YouTube? Come on over here." So when we got there, that guy started putting lures and stuff into a bag it's like here you go check check these guys out and you know let me know what you think let me know what you think well i'm gonna give you a quick shout out because i'm excited when i open this bag of stuff and when you guys explained to me what they were i was pretty stoked so these guys shane's bait let me uh actually pull out this first guy here for you guys so you can actually see their name better shanesbait.com and then here's their contact information. You can check them out either on the website or on Facebook or Instagram. But basically, these guys create Alabama rigs. So they gave me this right here called Mini Blades of Glory, which is really, really cool. Very small Alabama rig, which is perfect because I like to fish from the shorelines as well as my kayak. And of course it comes with uh, jig heads, but let me talk about this guy specifically. So. If you guys are familiar with Alabama rigs, traditional Alabama rigs, all the arms and everything, they're molded onto the head itself. So what that means is when you keep bending it, I mean, even in, in this one here, if you keep bending the arms, eventually it's going to break. Why, do, why does the arm bend? Well, multiple reasons. When you try to shape the arm, when you retrieve it to the water, the water resistance, uh, when you're battling fish, you know, the arm's going to be constantly bending. Like a paper clip, you know, if you guys have bent a paper clip or any sort of metal for a long time, it's gonna snap. So, what happens when your album rig arm snaps? It's stuck. Not these. So, check out this head right here. This is what they've created. So, you, you screw on, screw off, and presto, boom. I just took off an arm. So, what happens is if one of these arm breaks, unscrew it, take another one, and put it in. These are silver blades right here, they, they sell gold blades. You put that in there as well. They have different lengths. They have di other different um, size of album rigs too. So you can play around with any combination. You have, you know, extra arms to be in case. Oh, they even have this cool one right here. Check this one out. It's like a buzz bait and album rig. That is insane. But yeah, they gave us each uh, uh, album rig. Comes with some hooks, which is pretty qu high quality hooks. Really nice. Has a little weight uh, lead on top. It's 116 for these right here. And it has a little screw on. So you screw on the uh, baits. And they gave us a pack of swim baits right here. These are KTEX um, swing impacts. And this is 2.8 inches. And I selected a very really nice color electric watermelon shad, which is perfect for places where I fish because it imitates the sunfish like bluegills. As you see, the little green on the top, a little lighter on the bottom, and has a little blue flakes on the bottom really really nice in fact this is a very very nice lure to use during pre-spawn fishing when all the bass start coming in from deep water into channels and flats etc they also chase uh bait fish because they also go in because they try to seek warm water and feed and bass gonna feed because they want to get fattened up a little bit so they have the energy to pre uh, to go into spawning mode because they don't really eat during spawning mode, so they need to get that energy, they need to produce those eggs, etc, etc. So, having a school of fish still in front of them, you know, it's like an easy meal. In fact, sometimes there'll be more than one bass because all of them are uh, migrating into uh, spawning areas and, you know, they get territorial. So, you might even get two bass or three bass. I got five hooks here, so I might even get five bass on this one guy. So it's pretty cool, but most importantly, guys, make sure you check your state regulations on Alabama rigs because not every state allows Alabama rigs. Uh, they may not even call it Alabama rigs. You may have to read into how many hooks a lure can have. Um, so check that out in state before you look into uh, Alabama rigs. But if you guys do, you uh, can use it. It's a really, really great lure to search for bass in pre-spawn. Thank you for watching, guys, and thank you for Shane Bait for, you know, giving us this nice gift. And um, check them out, Facebook, Instagram, website, everything's there. Check out all the cool lures that they have on their website. 
Thank you for watching, guys. Peace out.